thank you very much for joining me, uh, Aurora. Now it's your first time here at Lim Festival, but it's nice to speak to an artist before they perform. So what's the build-up like for someone before you get on stage? Oh yes, well it's kind of now. I don't build anything up before, maybe 10 minutes before. Before I was kind of nauseous all day like two years ago and I didn't even enjoy being on the stage but now I do I kind of like it I can see the the the, the magic in it <laughs> but it's kind of like uh, I I do get I don't get nervous anymore but I do get excited and I have to stretch my body because I I had bang a lot so I have to like really warm up my neck oh so you say you have to get them yeah, you yes. need to get them not yeah out I'm very yeah. I'm a I'm a headbanger yeah. yeah do you believe in that stretching in the morning I've been told it's really yes, good for you yes absolutely yeah. no, I stretch seriously. every morning especially the spine because the spine is kind of the core in the whole um, shit uh, no what do you call it body the whole body you know the the spine yeah. so I it's very important to kind of warm up the spine. My girlfriend would love that, yeah. seriously. She's always on at me, you need to stretch, you need to loosen all the muscles. Yes, and yes, like, you do. Right, I'm taking note now, yeah. Aurora. You've sealed the deal that I need to do that. <laughs> now, I want to talk about, uh, remember when you released your EP, of course, yes. Running With Wolves, like yeah. two years ago, but so much has happened since then. Yeah. So much music. I heard your latest record, uh, Queen's Room. Yes, And when yes. I listened to that song, I remember you describing it as about bringing people together, celebrating the, the differences, mm. but something which also makes us all the same. Yeah, yes, Celebrating yes. men, women and children. Yeah. And I, I thought there was something really beautiful in that. The way times are now, to be able to acknowledge that is so important. Yeah. So was that something which resonated with you when writing the song? Oh yes, absolutely. And especially like the two past years, there's been a lot of things going on, you know, the Me Too campaign and, and with you know, and it's in, and it's um, and and a thousand other things like Trump becoming the president, and you know, it's been so many weird things happening, and and um, in in so many countries still, you can't love uh, a person w uh, with the same gender as yourself, and it's so strange. And I just thought that, you know, and also I've seen again and again every time people fight for something on the interweb internet, they tend to, uh, you know, beat something else down. So it seems like we we haven't found the balance in fighting for something, but then you know, kind of hating the other. You know, we we it's, only it's, it's kind of that. yeah, that. yeah, and it went a bit too far on on a certain things. And I just wanted to make a song that was for everything, and it is. You know, and many people kind of think it's only a feminist song, but it's it's not. It, it, it's it is that also, but it's much bigger than feminism. You know, it's human is for humanity and everything that's alive and animals also and the planet and just everything that you know because the things you need to fight for isn't it? Yeah. there's things that needs sometimes it can't be put in words you need to give it a voice you need to give yeah. it a platform whether that's singing whether that's art yeah. it needs something which people are going to be able to take notice of yeah. and people can also some sometimes we need to see these things where we can make the amendments on ourselves then. Yeah. And sometimes when you hear a song, it makes you improve who you are, yeah. it makes you change whatever it is that is lacking in your life or that yeah, absolutely. could be hurting someone else. And I think that's important, that's in, whether you're an artist, us as human beings, if we can do that and help one another in that way, then God, it'd be a much better, yeah. it'd be a much better place. Yeah, it, it would, it would, <laughs> and it's, it's um, it's very, it's it's the meaning of our lives, and it makes you more happy. Also, it makes your, you know, because if you have a thousand small but you know, problems in your life, they become one big one, and you become an unhappy p person. But I think if you have things to uh, distract you from the small kind of insignificant things, which makes it, you know, it's about changing your perspective also to see that you know there are so many things that you could. Um, fight for and kind of it makes you bigger it makes you stronger also and it's kind of um, I think it's just it just makes sense to be nice to everything that lives it's kind of like we're all one body or like one mind but just s split up in a thousand yeah, people dots, yeah we? we are kind of it, it, like that. if I if I hurt you then I hurt myself if, yeah. if you're in pain then I'm in pain because we're kind of one because we have one thing in common, which is uh, life, you know, so it just yeah. makes sense, doesn't it? That's it, that's mm. all true. So what, 
I love everything that you said there, but I love how how do we see this on stage? What can we expect to see from you? Your oh, performance? Well, um, I don't know, or I know, but I don't know how it looks from the outside because I'm. It's very. It's very as, uh, yes, but I, I I know it's it is very emotional. I'm quite you know. At times I'm angry. At times I'm powerful, and I'm going. I'm quite different when I talk in between the songs than when I sing. Because I know how to sing, but I don't know how to talk. <laughs> so it's going to be quite, a, you know, an up, up and down kind of energy. Uh, I'm sure it'll be beautiful. It's going to be very explosive. I have a lot going on in my body today, oh, so I'm very excited. I'm excited too. And I'll just say one last thing. I seen you on it. I've seen your cover on Triple Drag of Teardrop by Massive Attack, and I was absolutely. I, I, there was something the way. You took a song which is so significant to so many people and you made it your own, but so beautifully. Is there always a, f a fear when covering a song of that magnitude in a sense and making it your own as an artist? Yeah, it is. I, I don't think it's scary, but I know people get very emotional about it uh, in both ways, you know, because people, uh, they don't like ch change or, or to hear more, more, some people don't like to hear what they know wrapped in something new because it's, you know, it's different and it's not how it's supposed to be in, in, in your head. But it's kind of, it's, very, it's a very fun way to kind of bring music to life again and again and again because if, if people, you know, especially the younger generations, if they forget music, if they haven't heard this song, it's very important to do these covers once in a while. I'm so happy that it's a thing people do, especially with like the older kind of songs that can and, and bring them and keep them alive and remind the world that, you know, they are here because they d deserve to be kept alive, if that makes sense. That's no, makes yeah. so much sense. And on that note, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> but Aurora, thanks very much for speaking to me. Ian, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>